Alps, with warnings of more severe winter weather on the way, how the cold snaps already taking its toll. Ice on pavements and roads has led to a big rise in the number of people falling. Natalie Gray has our report. This is the first time Brenda Tipple has dared to step out of her door since Christmas Eve. The road outside her home in Saxthorpe in North Norfolk is like a skating rink, but she needs supplies. And although she usually doesn't walk with a stick, she's using one today. My third leg to help me to keep me on my feet during this weather. Now, I have only been using it during this um, bad weather because that's the only way I can keep on my feet. If you're driving, the roads seem just about fine now. Very different story if you're a pedestrian because some of these pavements and walkways are lethal and all you can do is slip and slide along. And there's anger here that like so many areas across our region, councils haven't gritted the roads, let alone the pavements. Well, walking along here, all of a sudden you hit a, a treacherous bit, you don't realise it and all of a sudden you're on your back. How many times have you fallen over? Three. <laughs> already treacherous you know it's bad enough for, for you know for younger but able people the older people i would imagine they haven't really uh, ventured out of their house because it's uh, not been safe to you know it's meant a big rise in 999 calls to slips trips and falls it's really been the black eyes which people have not noticed and have gone over and hurt themselves normally we expect to go and see one in five calls being a fall this year it's up another 14 percent Norfolk County Council says it has tried to grip minor and estate roads during the cold snap as well as some pavements, but it is impossible to do them all. With temperatures set to plummet again in the new year, the message to people like Brenda is stock up and stay in. Natalie Gray, Anglia News, Saxthorpe in Norfolk. Well, Amanda will be here later with a full weather forecast. But if you've been struggling with the cold or suffered a fall yourself, why not get in touch? Our email address is jonathanandbecky at itv.com, the one there on your screen. Now, in other news, the family of a 13-year-old boy from Hertfordshire whose body was pulled from a river on Boxing Day have today paid tribute to him. Jordan Trousdale's body was found in the River Stort in Bishop Stortford on Boxing Day. His death is not being treated as suspicious. Today, his family described him as a happy, intelligent boy who will be sorely missed. His friends are planning to hold a riverside vigil for him tomorrow. Police in Norfolk have arrested a man in connection with a fatal hit-and-run accident on Christmas Eve. Catherine Aldridge, who was 67, was hit by a small vehicle in the village of Pulham St Mary as she walked to the church. She died on Christmas Day. A 37-year-old man from Dis was arrested after presenting himself at Dis police station yesterday evening. He's been released on bail pending further inquiries. Police said today the death of a six-year-old girl at a children's activity centre in Northampton was a result of natural causes. The girl, who has not been named, collapsed and died at the Berserk Centre in Moulton Park on Sunday. It's understood her death was linked to a heart condition. Well, next tonight, when Rosie Chinnery from Great Yeldon near Halstead in Essex fell off a horse and broke her neck, doctors feared she wouldn't even survive the journey to hospital. But nine months later, she's made a truly remarkable recovery and is now back in the saddle. Lorna Ramsey reports. They say when you fall off a horse, get straight back on. And that's exactly what Rosie Chinnery has done. But her fall nearly cost her her life. In March, she was galloping in Newmarket when the horse she was riding collapsed and died. The horse fell on her, breaking her neck. She was taken to Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge and spent two weeks in a coma. But when she woke up, there was one thing driving her recovery. Well, I just couldn't wait to get out and be able to ride. and That's the main reason I wanted to get out, because I wanted to be able to ride and and like when I first got out I got m mum and dad offered for me to come down here and see my horses but I didn't want to come and see them if I couldn't ride them so I didn't come until I could ride. When Rosie woke up from the coma she couldn't walk or talk. Her mum Karen says her recovery is thanks to Rosie's determination and months of rehabilitation at Addenbrooke's. It's incredible. The, the consultant at the hospital can't believe it. Um, nobody could have dreamed that she would have got as far as she has already. And um, long may the progress continue. So, yeah, it's great. Rose's strength is improving every day, as is her riding. Since the accident, Rosie has won several classes at local show jumping events. Now she's focusing on her ultimate goal, 
to compete at events like badminton or burley. And with her faithful companion Bertie by her side, Rosie is sure to achieve that goal. Lorna Ramsey, Anglia News, Great Yeldon.